It's 2013 and I'm returning to Perth. You may remember that I had the car and caravan booked in at North Richmond to try and get this 12 volt and inverter stuff sorted out. I was at the workshop by 8am and he was done by 9. He'd found a couple of blown fuses, replaced them and all was good. Until I got to Nara. My entire 12 volt system was dead. Gone. No light. No pump. Nothing. I did have the 240 volt working when I plugged in, so I headed up to Super Cheap Auto to buy a 240 volt 8 watt work lamp to plug in and at least have some light in the van. That and a headlight did the job. This morning I found an auto electrician who knew what he was talking about. Well, he convinced me he knew what he was talking about. He also started pulling covers off of batteries and figured that all was good. It didn't take him long to discover some loose wires and a dodgy connection, and things began to make sense. The wires to the inverter had somehow become loose or dislodged. There was a cable connected to one battery and floating around unconnected at the other end. I'd had new batteries fitted in the last six months, and a couple of other people had looked at it, including the guy at North Richmond. Someone had forgotten to connect the first battery properly and had all been having a hidden misconnection, possibly for the past six months. The simplest things. I caught up with fellow filmmaker and now guitar maker George Reuter and then decided to take a run down the Jarvis Bay, or Jervis Bay is it? And that is where we're off to right now. Going out to have a look in Jervis Bay. Turn off the top of the head here, up on the left. Also the Badiri National Park in there. Okay, the first thing we find out about Jarvis Bay is that it's not New South Wales, it's Jarvis Bay Territory. And you pay as you come in through the gate. Roads unsuitable for caravans, coaches and trucks. Ooh, like them. They give you a map as you come in. We're going around to St George's Basin to start with. Oh, it's no through road it says, so we we'll have to come back along here. Oh, we're going down, down, deeper and down here. take up in the space because out ahead there was some water. Oh, what a view. We're just skirting, skirting the edge of St George's Basin at the moment. Just missed a turn in the Lake Windham here, apparently. Well, with the road, we're running alongside the bay. There's all those all the plant life between us and the water and you can't see the water. We know little lookout points up to the side of the road. Well haven't been so far, put it that way. That's the view as you drive along.
And this, I assume, would be a camping spot. And of course I'd be wrong. No fires, no camping. Hey, that's where we are right at the moment. I'm assuming that where I am at the moment is uh, paid camping area uh, with houses. And they're back onto the beach, but then again, there's a heap of stuff here that makes it look as though they're permanent residents, so I really don't know. But, uh, Kalendi. Homestead. There's a signpost coming in here saying it's 500 metres away, but, uh, no access to anything when you get here. The Christian, Christian, Christian's Mindy, a nice little sign on keep out private property, so, yeah, interesting stuff. Big sign that invites you down there and another one tells you to bugger off. So it says it's the Bawera Beach and there's also a couple of camp and uh, something or other else up here, so I wonder whether I'll be disappointed, let's go and have a look. Bawera Beach to the left of the B of P Lodges and there's also the PTU to the right. Let's have a look at the beach and see what we can find. There's a car park here for Bawera Beach and it's 400 metres to get to it. There's no parking in here, they tell us. C, private property, accommodation inquiries, welcome, no public access to the beach. Welcome to the Bay of Plenty Lodges. <coughs> this is a strange park, this one, in that they charge you to come in. Access to anything it seems to be difficult. There's a lot of walking trails in here. Four o'clock, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to walk to the thing. Um, I suppose really what you should do is come out here and spend the whole day out here. We've only explored one little bit. I haven't looked at one little bit of it, and it's a no three road. We're going to get back to where we've come from. They bring buses and coaches in along this road. It's not suitable for caravans, they say. Hmm. back up the hill 
and that was interesting but in some ways a disappointment I've been there so that's the other thing I suppose and there's a lake in there somewhere Lake Windermere or something it's called but you can't access it because it's a fire road or a park road ranges only well, this is the Jarvis Bay Village. I don't know whether it's a holiday place or whether it's uh, permanent livings. Police station here. This is, of course, where the uh, Naval College is. There's a school here, and there is army training going on. No entry residents only. People wandering around with guns. Australian Federal Police there. So I would think this village is purely defence. Maybe workers, civilian workers. This is Murray's Beach. Claims to have the whitest sands in the it's one of the whitest sands in the world. View in the other direction. There are these little parking areas along the way in here that uh, you park and then you've got to walk down to the, uh, to the beach from there. There's uh, all sorts of things. That's why I'm coming up. It's called Scottish Rocks. Scottish Rocks, you've got to walk through two or three hundred metres of bush to get to the to get to the water's water bit. 
It's now 5.08. 408 real time but uh, we need to be getting back towards towards town and it's about 40 kilometers from here so this is Hyams Beach No public access to beach, it says. That's well, because it's a private property, I guess. No access, keep out. Beachfront. I'm not sure there's Blenheim Beach or Hyams Beach, they're both close together there. I think it's Hyams. This is a boat ramp. Look at those houses up there that are sitting right on the edge of the water. There's a number of cottages here which are all accommodation, rentable.
Well, there's a driveway, and it goes straight up. On the other side, they go straight down. Okay, back home. This is called the Hanging Rock Lookout, and I wonder why. You can straight up the river at Nara. And over there is where George Reuter lives, to the north. Nara is that way as is the coast but that's looking to the west that's looking back down towards Nara the bridge crosses the river just beyond that tree there and know that down there in the middle that's the golf club Now this is an era of sports ground, showground, pavilion, and then we have a park just over the hill, right there. So that's looking back up the river towards the caravan park. It's the golf club over there. And there's the main bridge of the town. That leads out into the bay. If you enjoyed this video, there are over 400 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button and maybe even leave a comment. If you weren't too impressed, then the dislike button tells us absolutely nothing. So tell us why, so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.